All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a uh, injection pump timing check and adjustment if necessary uh, for the Mitsubishi 4D56 engine uh, found in Delicas, found in Pajaros, and uh, probably a few other vehicles um, that I can't think of right now. Um, so this is basically a homemade tool um, version of a, a tool that Mitsubishi would sell. Um, this one, I'll have a link down below where you can find this. Uh, if you can't find the, the Mitsubishi original part. So I've got the injection pump here removed from the vehicle so you can see it a bit easier. There's a port right here on the back, uh, basically in, you know, in the center of your four high pressure lines uh, that you use, it's an inspection port. So you take that, there, there's a bolt that would go in here. I think it's either a 12 or 14 millimeter uh, nut or hex rather uh, to take that out. Um, so you remove that and then you're going to thread this tool or your Mitsubishi one in the back side of your injection pump here. Uh, and all of this procedure can be found on page 11B-9 out of the, uh, the engine um, handbook. Uh, you can find that on Delica USA's website. They have all the, uh, the service manuals there. Um, for easy access. So I tighten this in hand tight. I don't want to go crazy. I want it tight enough that it's not going to back itself out, but you really don't need to tighten this very much. Um, just, just tight enough that it's not going to back out. And then this rod here, so there's a more sharpened end and a more blunt end. You put the sharpened end in here, push that in, and then I'm going to take my drop gauge here. This is a, uh, a half inch reading drop gauge. I'm gonna put this in the back here. So. Uh, it doesn't have to be this exact gauge, but something similar. So so you see here I've inserted this so that I'm I know that I'm touching the uh, the piece inside because I'm I'm off of the zero. So if you haven't made it to the zero yet, so let's do this again. So you have to make sure that you make contact. So there, now I've made contact. I'm going to push it a little bit farther. Um, we're not, we don't have to move this very far. So I've got plenty of travel for the needle. And I'm going to just snug this up here so that the drop gauge doesn't move as we are, we're checking things. Okay, <clears throat> so that's all in place. And now I'm going to zero out the gauge here. Just rotate this outer ring to zero. Um, and from the, the procedure that Mitsubishi calls out on page 11B-9, you want to rotate the engine to clockwise to approximately 30 degrees before top dead center. So you're going to be looking at that down on the crankshaft. Um, obviously, this is just the ejection pump here. I don't have the crankshaft. But essentially, what you'd be looking for is you'd rotate it to that point, um, and you're going to rotate your, your crankshaft a few degrees, plus or minus, and you shouldn't see any movement on this dial. Um, and then, then they ask you to rotate it to 9 degrees after top dead center. Again, you're going to be looking at that on the crankshaft side, um, and then you want to read where this this gauge tells you that you're at when you're nine degrees after top dead center. It may take two people to you know sort of hold that position and then someone else to come up here and read this. Um, but what you're looking for is a reading of one millimeter plus or minus 0 0.003 millimeters. This is an inch drop gauge, so that equates to 0 0.0393. Uh, inches plus or minus 0 0.001. So we're zeroed out right now. We want to go all the way around to just before that, this this 40 here. That 40 would be 0 0.04. So we're looking for 0 0.0393. So we're going to be right about there. Um, and then plus or minus 0 0.001. So essentially between this this 40 and that 38, roughly. Um, and that, that's what you're looking at. That's the, the ideal optimum place to be, um, to say that you're timed correctly. Again, with the crankshaft at nine degrees after top dead center. 
um, to just to show you what that would look like. So I'm just going to rotate this here by hand. Um, and it's, I know this too, that it's, it can be helpful to sort of, you know, put a l light little amount of pressure on here. Um, cause as this moves in and out, um, sometimes there's, there's a shaft in here. Sometimes that doesn't move completely freely. Um, so as it moves in and out, you know, you might not always return exactly to zero. Usually if you just sort of, you know, give a light amount of pressure, you'll return pretty close. Um, but so I'm going to rotate this here to show you what you're looking for. So at nine degrees after top dead center, that is roughly the measurement that you are looking for. Now, if that's not what you see, and you know, and you've tapped this end here, make sure that it's that everything is sort of compressed. You don't have to push it very hard, but just give it a little tap. Uh, if that's not what you're seeing, then you would go ahead and remove, or not remove, just loosen these four uh, nuts for your uh, high pressure lines. And then there's two bolts down here, um, which, you know, I've got that clamped in the vise right now, but there'd be two bolts. You loosen all that so you can freely rotate this entire uh, injection pump and get the, the reading that you're after. And then, you know, again, repeat, repeat the procedure again, rotate um, to nine degrees after top dead center uh, and see what this reading is at. Um, and again, like I said, this, you know, it's sort of, it, it, it wants to spring back. Um, you've probably noticed that if you've done timing work on these, it wants to spring back. So as you, you do your measurements, you know, give a light amount of pressure there and then do, uh, check again to see where you're at. And like I said, you're looking for something just before that, uh, that 40 mark there. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know.